Welcome to the Usher training video for Media Presbyterian Church. This introduction is intended to instruct you on how and why we are going through the screening and seating process as established by the reopening committee. First things first, things have changed and we want you to be prepared for how that is going to look different for people coming in and for your job duties. First things to consider and to understand, we're going to be working to ensure everybody is wearing appropriate masks. So those masks should be covering the nose and mouth as such. You want to observe as people are coming in, there are spare masks available. We keep them in a basket here in the entrance way for their use uh, if anybody needs them. Singing is prohibited. Uh, so as people are coming in, you're going to want to remind them that singing will be prohibited by uh, the congregation and attendees. The, um, on the board here, we also want a reminder to everybody coming in that the uh, service will be live streamed. So any conversations that take place in the sanctuary during service will be recorded and sent to the internet. Streaming of the service starts 15 minutes prior to the start of service. So at quarter of, that's when the, uh, the video starts going out. Be mindful of that and encourage as people are coming in to, to remind them of that as well. There are restrooms are limited as far as which ones can be used. The ones by the library and the one in the family room at the back of the church are the only ones that are open to congregation at this time. In the sanctuary, the rows are color coded. The orange row is going to be prioritized for those attendees needing extra assistance. So utilizing ADA. Um, we wanna keep them to that side of the, the pews so that they have ease of egress and ingress. Sanctuary preparation. Ushers need to uh, review a few things in the sanctuary to ensure it's prepared for a congregation coming in. Each of the rows are marked with a number and the, the ushers need to verify that those uh, numbers are in place. They correspond to the seating chart at the greeting station. There are seat markers indicating whether or not the seat is available or prohibited for social distancing. And those should be in place as well too. The last part is to verify that there are five of the uh, communion cups in the pew in front of the available seating. Verifying that those are in place, the extra cups are kept in front of the church behind the altar. Exterior door setup. Ushers need to, when they first arrive, set out this sign to direct congregation away from the main entrance to the side entrance. The main entrance is to not be used uh, during the entrance of everybody into the sanctuary. We're funneling everybody to the side entrance. Hassler Chapel set up. Hassler Chapel may be used in the event of all the pews in the main sanctuary uh, being filled through Sign Up Genius or guests coming in. In order to set up Hassler Chapel, there are markings on the floor for the rows that are uh, spaced six foot apart. Chairs will be placed, and then you'll want to make sure that the communion cups are also available located underneath the chairs. The check-in process. For the check-in process, we have a podium set up for the ushers to uh, work from. So as the congregation comes in, uh, maintaining a six foot separation from each other, uh, we encourage them to utilize the hand sanitizer station that are located right inside the, the doorway. As they come up to you, greeting them and asking them if they've pre-registered via the Sign Up Genius on the uh, church website. That sign up genius, a list will be provided to the ushers and it will come out looking roughly like this and it will indicate the number of people that have pre-registered and the number of people in their party. 
This will be your reference and on this you'll be checking off once they come in and you've done the screening of them. If guests come, guests will be asked to fill out the guest log. This will record their information uh, for contact tracing purposes uh, so that we can um, identify should there be any issues regarding a COVID outbreak. When guests come in, they will be asked screening questions. There's a laminated sheet for your use. You want to ask them each one of the questions that is on this sheet uh, to verify. And then you will be signing off that you have asked them those screening questions. For every person that comes in, there will be uh, a non-contact thermometer where that will be used to take their temperature. The thermometer, in order for it to work, there's a button on the front, a trigger. It has to be held between one and a half and two inches away from the surface. And then you'll hear a beep indicating what your temperature is. The temperature should be below 100.4 degrees Fahrenheit for them to be admitted. Prior to the start of service, just before service starts, we want to ensure that the door to the sanctuary is kept closed. During service, one usher will be stationed here at the greeting station uh, during and throughout service so that if any latecomers come to, they are able to be screened and then escorted into the sanctuary. During service, the other usher will go to the back of the sanctuary. They will ensure that the main entrance doors are unlocked for egress purposes. And then they will be stationed there in the event that any uh, guests or uh, con congregation comes in through the main entrance and they can perform screening there or redirect them around to this side entrance. At the end of service, there is a few responsibilities that the usher will need to ensure are completed. The first being the check-in forms and the sign-in sheet that were collect the information was collected. You are to be put into Jonathan's mailbox in the office. We use that for record keeping purposes and in the event of uh, contact tracing. At the end of service, the ushers uh, need to ensure that the uh, station as well as the other elements uh, and resources needed for uh, re-entry and greeting are replenished. That includes sanitizing the non-contact thermometer. There is a bucket of wipes that can be used to wipe this down and then replace it back into the box. The resources as far as the uh, extra masks available to congregation as they come in should also be verified that uh, if any additional ones are needed to notify church staff. We in the reopening committee and the rest of congregation, thank you for your service. 